What is going on my dudes, One Step here with the ultimate beginner's guide to Samurai Jack in Multiverses. Giving you some tips and tricks on how to play Samurai Jack, some best strategies you need to keep in mind, fun starting combos, and even some perk recommendations. Subscribe here for more Multiverses and fighting game content and let's jump right into it. Samurai Jack is a bruiser and you might think he should be an assassin, but he he plays like a bruiser for sure. He's got a pretty basic moveset, you know, good side combos. The note about that side combo, by the way, it's got really good reach. Like that kick, it, it reaches pretty far. The the biggest thing about Jack that I like a lot is that he can charge a ton of his moves. He can charge his neutral attack. Which, by the way, you charge that all the way, you have massive reach on it. The beetle comes out, does way better damage and way better reach. He can charge his down attack, his up attack. You can even charge his down special. You can charge his up special. Now, the only thing you can charge in the air is his aerial side attack, which is still pretty cool. But the reason why charging is such a particular thing that I like to use a lot is because it allows you to, I know it sounds obvious, but to control the timing of when you release the move. So you can like bait out a punish, meaning I'm gonna do this side of combo, expect my opponent to dodge back towards me or away from me, charge my up attack for an example, and they fall right into my attack. Like I release it after they dodge, thus I don't miss. So being able to charge your attacks allows you to control the timing of it. And in my opinion, land them a lot more often and you get more damage for charging them so why not now the other thing about jack you want to keep in mind is his focus that is right samurai jack has a unique thing to him called focus that is that little bar beneath him you see right there that fills up when you get hit when you do hit so basically just throughout the fight and then a special moves will actually apply a weakened and some of them gain armor once you have full focus and you're using the special move i keep in mind once you have full focus and you do a special move like up special for an example the focus will go away so see we're on fire we legitimately have full focus Focus. we're gonna do up special now the focus is gonna be gone see that now whether you have full focus or not a big thing that i love about samurai jack that not many other characters can actually do is he can meditate and give himself health or gray health which is just extra health you can add to your character so again right now we have some focus we're almost full but all you gotta do is crouch or hold down and he will meditate and give himself gray health or just more health so what i like to do is when i ring out my opponent that brief moment i have when they're rung out to them respawning and coming back at me is i'll immediately crouch and meditate to then gain more health you only gain about two four or six but that can really help you out in a fight so like this i'm gonna ring out my opponent here and as they respawn, I'll crouch and gain health. That's a big strategy that I like to do. So a lot of times I'm using my focus to gain health rather than gain the stronger special move. And that's a decision you want to make. Do you want to gain more health? Do you need the more health? Or do you want to keep your focus going? You gain stronger and better special moves. Uh, it's kind of like, you know, more situational at that point. But it's a decision you're going to have to make quite often. So just get used to that. One of my favorite things is his side special. You've probably seen it a lot if you fight a samurai jack, but it's a slash move. You can charge it to extend its range. But the best thing about that is on the ground, you can actually aim it up. And that's really nice. You can side attack your opponent, do side special. And then if you call them jumping, like you read them jumping, just aim it up and you'll likely hit them anyways. But in the air, you can aim it up or down. So I love hitting my opponent away, side special, then catch them. And in that brief moment, you can literally aim it up or down so you can see if they're gonna jump or not. And if they do jump, they get punished because you aimed it up. After playing Samurai Jack myself for quite some time, I'll tell you right now his spike, his aerial down attack, it's, uh, as you saw right there, we missed, even though we were like right on top of our opponent. Like, you actually have to hit the sword portion, which is fine, but I find myself using down special instead a lot more often. It's not necessarily a spike per se, it's more of a horizontal move, but I find it hitting a lot more often than my down attack in the air. So a side note, uh, play around with that, but I use down special a uh, heck of a lot more often than I use down attack. This aerial neutral special is a grab. And I love this move. It makes for some awesome combos. But a really fun note about it is if you are timing it right, you can catch your opponent's projectile and then throw it right back at him like this. That's a bit harder to really get down. But if you see it coming or you see a slow projectile, just go for it. It's very nice. Neutral air attack is a spinning sword move. A lot of Samurai Jacks forget about that move and it's really good. Multi-hitting, it'll likely break arm if you hit it right. Really good for interruption. I'll go from that to aerial side attack charged. So that way if they dodge out of my neutral air attack, they'll dodge into my sword slash. Jack's neutral ground special is it's kind of like an armored really elbow hit. You might be thinking like, what does that do? It doesn't really do a lot. You're not wrong. It's mainly used for a counter attack. If you hit it as a counter here's how it looks 
as you can see we did more damage and an extra hit it has the armor to be able to be a counter so it acts kind of like joker's neutral special where it's uh kind of like a parry so yeah samurai jacks kind of got a parry now what about strategies or like starting combos you can do well when it comes to strategies uh samurai jack does pretty well up close but we also can do pretty good stuff at medium range as well like we can really close that distance with our side special and our side attacks just have really good reach our up attacks got good reach like samurai jack really excels in that close to semi medium range we don't have any projectiles but that's why you want to get in close with side special don't be afraid to close that distance because you're going to need to as a jack player one thing i love doing is side attack into my up attack and the reason why is the up attack is two hits and right there for that brief moment we are in the air and while we're in the air i like to follow up with our side special and then aim it up or down depending on how our opponent reacts to our attack so i'll do like uh, side attack side attack up attack put in the air side special and react from there am i going to go up or down depending on what my opponent does if they go up i'll usually aim it up and then do up special if they start jumping out of that there's a lot of things that samurai jack can do up close again just very situational on like what's going on in the fight in the moment you want to close that distance if you try to getting zoned out you're probably going to get messed up like yeah you can throw the projection tiles back at him sure but that's gonna take some practice obviously you gotta get really good at reading your opponent again you want to catch them off guard if they jump up with your side special counter their hits with your neutral special it's all about reading your opponent that's what samurais are good at right now what are jack's best ko move like what do you want to be using the most often to ko your opponent i'll tell you right now side special is a great option down special is also a really good one they both just have really good ko power and pushback of course your up special your up attack charged those are probably your best ones off the bat that I can think of. Because your neutral attack charge, you gotta have that really fully charged to really do anything. Meaning you gotta be able to get the charge all the way full and that can be hard at times. By itself, it's not bad, but you wanna be able to charge it. I like to put my opponent in the air with up attack and then go for the aerial side special, catch him off guard. Samurai Jack's got a lot of options at mid range, a lot of options at close range, great ways to close that distance. I think he's an awesome character. So with the strategies down, the KO moves down, your good neutral game plan down. Let's talk about perk recommendations. This first one I hear you see, Shadow Step, when Jack's ground neutral special counter is activated, he will do an armor dash toward the enemy that activated the counter. However, he will not fire a projectile. With full focus, Jack will teleport to the enemy. This is good. I typically don't use this one that often. Like I said, it's mainly just used for your neutral special. As a good counter i think the counter is good enough by itself this one though uh rivers flurry holding special input while performing jack's down special will add more sword slashes to the attack and the slashes also deal weakened extending the attack gradually consumes jack's focus meter though so it's like do you want to do weekend for the down special and consume the focus meter that can be a decent trade-off because i think weekend is great but then you got to use focus to actually do all that and the attack can no longer be charged and i i love the charge attacks so i use this one here and there as well but by far my favorite one is mindful flow instead of jack's focus being reset when he's knocked out his focus will actually increase this to me is just uh it's just too good because that way whenever i die i don't want to have to worry about my focus resetting and then having to get back up throughout the fight using your focus for your armor your special moves enhanced being able to gain more health doing all of that more often even if you get rung out i think is like just better than anything else because your down special by itself is already really good river's flurry isn't really like it's good but i don't think the attack really needs that enhancement too often and then shadow step yeah again it's good it makes your counter that much better but i think by itself the counter is already good enough why not get more of all of that more often with mindful flow that's my mindset this is my favorite perk this is what i recommend jack doesn't really work projectiles he's a bruiser he's gonna be in your face using a lot of melee attacks i go for more damage personally the snowball effect is great getting that extra damage boost as a bruiser i like my bruisers to be faster so the default perk of speed force assist you get that five percent increased speed i just i, I just I, I can't get away from using this perk it's just too good like most characters in my opinion don't really need a lot of this like last stand is really good if you're using like a tank like superman or wonder woman but for a bruiser like jack speed force i think is great these are all good perks i love it i love clear the air i love second wind i love static electricity but pugilist for just the extra melee attack damage like with samurai jack being a bruiser and having mostly melee hits anyways it, i i 
I have a hard time getting away from Pugilist and Speed Force and Stiss whenever I play a Bruiser, especially one like Samurai Jack. So more damage, more speed, more damage, and more focus. Those are my perks that I use. Again, these are just my recommendations. Let me know down below what perks do you like to use for Samurai Jack and how do you like Samurai Jack overall as a character? Anyways, let me know your thoughts. I've been loving him personally. I know we kind of already went over it, but really quick, here are my favorite combo starters that I like to use for Samurai Jack and ways that I get into combos. Side attack, obviously, into up attack, put him in the air. Then while I'm in the air, side special. That sequence alone is, is always a go-to for me. Or side attack into down special. Doesn't always land as a true combo, but I find myself hitting that more often than not. And then while you're in the air, down special to hit them, and then follow up with another side special. I love that you can aim that side special. It is so good. If you found this guide helpful, remember to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe here for more multiverses and fighting game content. Let me know your thoughts on Samurai Jack down below. Take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more multiverses news, guides, reactions, and more.